going on, guys? It's Nate. Bailey's hanging out here with me. How you doing, Bailey? Uncle Poppy. Uncle Poppy. Axel's over there. Hi, Bob. Anyway, it is July 2nd. It means it is my 29th birthday, which is absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, that means this, this is the official beginning of uh, the vlogs for the next year. <clears throat> um, I think I'll talk about it. I know I talked about it in the previous video, but I think I'll touch on it a little bit more uh, later on, what I'm hoping to accomplish with these and all that stuff. Um, nothing too crazy going on right now. I'm just having my, co my coffee. Uh, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon right now. Um, having some coffee right now. Uh, I'm going to find something to munch on real quick. And then later on, uh, going and having, having dinner with my family. Um, other than that, I'm just hanging out, relaxing with the pops. Nothing too crazy. Doing some studying as well for my real estate exam. Um, but yeah, we'll talk with you guys in a bit. What's going on, guys? It's Nate. Uh, finishing off the night. Finishing up my birthday. Uh, overall, I'd say it was a pretty good day. Just relaxed at home with the pops. Um, didn't do too much of anything. Didn't work on my my laundry room or anything like that, just kind of relaxed. Um, went out to dinner, or went to my parents for dinner. I uh, had some good steak, so that was fun. My parents bought me a black Christmas tree, which I wanted one when I bought my house, but I wasn't gonna buy one in case, it, unless I moved in to my house before Christmas, which I didn't. I moved in uh, December 30th, so I didn't see the point in putting a Christmas tree up at that point. Um, but this one, this year I'll have one, so that'll be fun. Uh, it'll be the first time uh, since I've moved out of my, I guess I shouldn't say that, because the year that I lived with my sister and her her husband, um, we had a tree up. But aside from that, any time that I've been on my own in any of my apartments, it was, it was uh, I, uh, I never put a tree up. So this will be the first time. Um, so that'll be fun. We'll see what happens, I'm sure. Bailey, he just went to bed, but I'm sure Bailey's going to find the balls on it. He's going to think that they're toys, so that'll be an interesting time. I'm probably going to have to get a, uh, one of them toddler gates just for my Christmas tree so that my dogs don't mess with them. Um, nothing too crazy. Nothing else happened today. Just relaxed. Watched a movie. Watched Cars. Judge me. It's a good movie. I actually haven't seen the other two, so that's why I wanted to, I wanted to watch the first one and then go into the next two. So Played some games. Played some golf. Got mad at golf. Uh, the computer game golf. Uh, I would have loved, would have loved to went and, and uh, played nine holes or went to the driving range at least today. But it it pissed rain all day today, so that didn't happen. It's just a little squishy outside. So so thirty minutes left, July second of twenty twenty three. Um, like I said in the last video, this is something that I'm kind of starting just to document what happens, what I do throughout the the next year, the next three hundred sixty. 365 days um just different things with the house like i want to like there's a lot of work that i want to do to the house it needs to be updated like i said in the last video it's it's 100 years old um the previous owners have done certain things to it but it, it, there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be brought into the century um and so on and so forth so that's going to be quite the project it's not going to be anything that happens quickly for you know it's things are expensive right now so uh just taking it a day at a time um about all i can really do honestly is rip down one wall at a time just because by the time it's so warm and i keep the door shut i don't want dust going all over the place so and but it, it, i'm just it's bad so get at least one wall down at a time um maybe this time sometime this week i'll be able to get the rest of the walls down in one go but uh, we'll see um but yeah, I got the rest of the house that I want to work on, so that'll be fun. Um, aside from projects that I've done with my dad, this will be the first time that I've, you know, kind of been um, the one doing everything. So I'm going to be learning a lot through the process of doing all this, is, which will be fun. Um going to be doing tile work with my laundry room. Never done anything with tiles, so that'll be an interesting experience. Um, but aside from that, like just outside of, Outside of the house, there's different things that I want to see. Just how I progress throughout the rest of the year. Um, different things that I want to work on. Um, I think everybody kind of does the cliche 
thing of, well, I want to get in the gym. Well, I really need to get into the gym more at work and, and working out more and, and um, all that stuff. I get, I get winded coming up my stairs. So there's that. Um, something else that I really, and I have been working on, today is actually the first time that I had any beer, but I need to cut back on my alcohol intake quite a bit. Uh, it was getting pretty bad, which leads me into my next, it's a good segue, um, to just dealing, like I want to see how I progress with dealing with my own depression and my anxiety and anything else that I deal with. I feel like I'm kind of in these waves, like right now, I don't know if it's just because I'm turning 29, um, I don't know what that it, if that's causing it, but I'm just kind of in a... I, I, I'm not sad, I'm just, I, I, I feel numb, I guess is the best way to put it. I just, I just don't know, I have no ambition. I'd much rather lay in bed all day and do absolutely nothing um, than face the world and face all the problems that come that way. But thankfully I have two amazing dogs that whether they like to or not, they force me out of bed every morning. Because um, obviously they have to be taken care of and I can't do that if I'm in bed. And that would be neglecting them, and I'm not about to do that. So, um, I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday, and I want to see. I've, I've been having some. I've noticed some, uh, some just some issues with um, holding attention on things. Uh, more specifically, tests and reading and stuff like that. So I want to want to look into the AD, ADD route, ADHD route. See, see if there's something going on there. Um, it very well could be. I'm already on medications for anxiety and depression so um maybe that's causing something i'm not sure but we're going to talk to the doctor about that on thursday um and see where that goes to turn around into a positive light in a second i did take my new york state real estate licensing exam which i failed um is what it is i can take it again no big deal so we're going to be studying for that it's already re the test is already rescheduled uh, for two weeks from wednesday um, so we're going to study off for that. Hopefully we can pass it this next time around. And, uh, and then I can start my real estate career. Um, I'll talk about that more, talk about the goals that I have with that more in a little bit in a different video. Um, just some of the aspirations and everything that I, that I want to do with that. That is my, uh, my, my, my next step, uh, I believe in my, in my life and my career path is doing that. Um, the biggest thing that I worry about right now and that I care about is just becoming financially stable and being able to take care of myself and my family with, without even having to think about it, I guess. Um, and I feel that's everybody's goal, but I, you just gotta be motivated to do it. And I feel that I have the motivation and, and the willpower to do it, so. Um, but yeah, this, this video won't come out till tomorrow because I'll probably edit it at some point to work at work tomorrow. Oh, uh, a question that I had for anybody that's watching this. If I, I like I said, I'm, I'm building a laundry room. So that means I'm going to need a washer and dryer. I've been toying around with the idea of getting the, one of the new, I know they're not relatively new. I know they've been around for a while. Um, but I wanted to look into the all-in-one units, the washer dryer combos. Um, I've heard some mixed things about it. I was wondering if anybody that watches these, anybody in the comments has any input on that. Um, my room is kind of tiny, so space is a concern. I'm also debating on whether I should put a sink in there or not. I go back and forth on that. Some people say yes, some people say no. Um, you know, I'm not just building this. this. This house is not my forever home, we'll say that. This is an investment, it is going to turn into a rental at some point when I upgrade to something bigger, something um, something better, we'll say. Um, so I have to think long term. I have to think of what the next person that lives here is going to want. So maybe the best option is for me to put a sink in there, but I'm not sure because the bathroom's right around the corner. Um, I do have intention on upgrading that at some point as well. Um, my tub is blue. Blue. Yeah, it's weird. I have ideas for that already, but kitchens and bathrooms are kind of the most expensive uh, renovations that you'll do. So that'll be farther down the line. Plus, I only have one bathroom, so that's just going to be, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. That might not be even happen while I'm living here because I got to be able to use the bathroom and all that stuff. So 
Um, we'll worry about that when the time comes. But right now, I'm um, just debating on how I want to... I think I got some colors and stuff picked out for the laundry room. I'm just really debating on if I want to... One, if I want to go with a combo unit. Two, if I don't go with a combo unit and I just go with separate washers and dryers. If I want to get... Um, the stackable ones and not the crappy stack stackable ones like what I had in my apartment. The actual decent ones, the big ones that, you know, are are good and will do the job that I need them to do. Um, which will help with space. But the other issue with that is I have a countertop in there already that I want to use. There's just a lot of things that I have to decide. So uh, looking for some input on that. If you guys got anything, just put it in the comments below. Uh, but with that... It is 11.30, I have to work in the morning, so I am gonna go uh, wash my face, cuddle up with the pups, and get some sleep. Probably, I'm, I'm probably not gonna be filming much at work. Uh, not, maybe if, it, if it's just me and I have some downtime, you're not gonna see anything, any of the calls and stuff that I go on, because I wanna keep that separate. I, I, I don't wanna, we'll talk about that in, in a different video as well. I got all kinds of stuff that I wanna talk about in different videos, but, um, I try to keep work separate from everything else and just kind of keep it there for very specific reasons. So, um, yeah, so unless I have like some crazy thought that I just want to get out there, get, you know, whatever. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll even, if I have something, I'll record it and then I'll put it into the next video that I put out. We'll see. I have, I'm, this is all just a work in progress. I haven't found a format that I enjoy yet, so on and so forth. It might be where I film a couple days and then I make one video out of it and film a couple more days and make, I don't know, we'll see. We're playing around with it. We'll figure it out. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to bed. You guys have a good night. I had a good birthday. Thank you to anybody that watches this and with that wish me a happy birthday. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. You honestly have no idea how much it means that somebody took just a few seconds out of the day. It's, it's not a lot, but you know, it means a lot to me. So I really appreciate that. Hope you guys have a good rest of your night and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care guys.